O'Connor is known for its high quality, high end tripods. If you're after the absolute best performance out of a tripod, this is where you want to be looking. And this is their new Ultimate 1040 system. But before we go into detail on the specs of the new head, I just wanted to quickly run over the legs. So the 1040 is being paired with the new Flotec 100 legs, the 100mm bowl version of the popular Flotec 75 from Vinton and Satchler, which has got to be one of the best new tripod designs in recent years. The conveniently positioned handbrake leg locks are amazing. Not having to reach down to the floor to adjust the height of your tripod is fantastic. And you actually do find yourself adjusting your tripod more frequently as a result. So it can make a real difference to your work. So O'Connor being part of that Vitek brand alongside Satchler and Vinton and now pairing the Flotec 100 with their new 1040 head. So the 1040 now sits above the 1030D, and it offers everything you'd expect from O'Connor. The head can carry payloads from zero to 20 kilos, and it can tilt up to 90 degrees in either direction. Ergonomically, it is a workhorse. Everything about the feel and the look just screams quality. And there's no doubt this can take a pretty serious camera rig and still perform flawlessly. There's still that stepless tilt and pan drag system, which is fantastic for dialing in exactly the right amount of drag for each shot, which is a real pleasure to use. And alongside that stepless tilt and pan, there's also a stepless counterbalance system specifically to balance your rig absolutely perfectly. And this can make such a difference to your shot. Being able to dial in precise balance like this so you get your counterbalance exactly right rather than using just stepped chunks of counterbalance. It does take a little bit longer, but it really allows you to be so much more precise and get it exactly right. The head is fitted with O'Connor's Europlate, which easily snaps into place and securely locks. So there's peace of mind that your camera, no matter how heavy your rig is, it's not gonna be going anywhere. Then of course it slides backwards and forwards to allow for balancing the camera easily. Now the only complaint I really have about this new head is this wedge at the back here. It sticks out and is quite sharp on the corners. It's a bit square for my liking. It's a real small point, but I can just imagine carrying this tripod on my shoulder and whacking my head on one of those sharp corners and that is gonna hurt. I would prefer the corners to be rounded off there like the rest of the camera head is, but it's a really small touch. Overall, this is a fantastic new head from O'Connor, which fills a nice gap in their lineup. And if you use large cameras, this should definitely be a tripod that is on your radar, especially if you have to work quickly because of these Flotec legs. I think the combination of the speed of the Flotec legs with the quality and the sturdiness of an O'Connor head will really appeal to people shooting high-end wildlife or sports, that sort of thing. But what do you think of the O'Connor 1040? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks very much for watching. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.